So this video will be about the question of what Galileo thought the shape of a hanging chain was. So many sources claim that Galileo thought a hanging chain was a parabola. Um, the actual shape of a hanging chain is something called a catenary, more or less by definition, because catena is the Latin for a chain, and catenary is pretty much by definition the shape a hanging chain makes. However, it's not quite a parabola. Um, the problem with the statement that Galileo thought a hanging chain formed a parabola is that it's obviously stupid. What we should do is remember that Galileo was one of the greatest of experimental physicists. He pretty much founded the entire subject of experimental physics. And before making statements about the form of a hanging chain, he would have actually checked. So he would have got a chain like this and picked it up. And you can see it sure does look like a parabola. In fact, it's really close to a parabola. And it's quite hard to tell the difference between a hanging chain and a parabola. However, if you bring the ends of the chain in, it actually becomes less and less like a parabola. And if it stopped wobbling and you checked it against the parabola, you would see it is definitely not a parabola. Um, so we should take a look at what a catena and a parabola are and see what Galileo actually said about them. So here, yeah, I'll just bring up my camera. Okay, so um, let's just recall what a parabola and a catenary is. So a catenary kind of looks a bit like this and has the equation something like y is the hyperbolic cosine of x, which was e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. A parabola, on the other hand, looks something like this. And we'll have equation y equals 1 plus x squared over 2. And these are very similar because if you expand the catenary is a power series. You see this is 1 plus x squared over 2 plus x to the 4 over 24, and so on. So for small values of x, these are really both very, very similar. Now let's see what Galileo actually said about them. So this is a copy of his book, The Two New Sciences, and he's discussing catenaries up here. So he said, over these two nails hang a light chain of such a length, such that something or other, the chain will assume the form of a parabola. So this, this form be marked by points in the wall, we shall have described a complete parabola, etc. Okay, so this is a bit of a problem. Um, apparently, or well, I was wrong, and all the people who said Galileo was mistaken were right, after all. In fact, the translator has even added a little helpful footnote here, whether he points out that it is now known that this curve is not a parabola, but a catenary. So that seems to settle that. Well, obviously it doesn't. Obviously I'm not wrong because I wouldn't be making this video if I'd been wrong. So if we look ahead a bit, we find another section of the same book where he says, here, I must tell you something which will both surprise and please you namely that a chord stretch more or less tightly assumes a curve which closely approximates the parabola. So he doesn't say they're equal, he says they're very similar. And he says, if he goes on, you'll observe that on slackening the chain more or less, it bends and fits itself to the parabola. And the coincidence is more exact in proportion as the parabola is drawn with less curvature also to speak more stretch, so that by using parabolas described with elevations less than 45 degrees, the chain fits the parabola almost perfectly. So what Galileo is saying is that provided this angle here is at most 45 degrees, the chain fits the parabola almost perfectly, and he quite clearly implies that they are not the same if you go further than that. So what's going on with this earlier statement where he said it was a problem? Well, if you look carefully, 
what he's doing is he's describing a method for drawing approximate parabolas. And the method he gives for drawing approximate parabolas is extremely accurate. In fact, the error is probably less than the thickness of whatever pencil you use for drawing. So, um, okay, when he says the, the curve you get here is a parabola, what he means is it's approximately a parabola to within the error of the thickness of whatever pencil you're using. It's kind of like if you go around saying the Earth is a sphere. Well, that's wrong. The Earth isn't quite a sphere because it's slightly squashed because the Earth is spinning. But it's not really wrong because it's pretty darn close to being a sphere. And when Galileo says a hanging chain is a parabola in book two, what he means is it's really close to a parabola and he knows perfectly well that it's not exactly a parabola. So I guess the point of this is if you hear that someone really smart like Galileo said something that is easily checked to be false, you should be rather skeptical and maybe they didn't actually say that after all. <laughs>